life right here. Like, it's like an extension of me. And he's not alone. 40% of us now use a cell phone to surf the web, email, or instant message. The real concern is, as you start to have banking information, personal information, other sorts of data on the cell phone. Michael Gregg is what's known as a white hat hacker. He helps companies and consumers keep all that valuable information safe. The hackers are always really one step ahead of everyone else because they're going where the money is. And it's happening across the country. Identity theft, spying by cell phone. Even major banks have been put at risk, and no one is immune. Using just a laptop and Wi-Fi access point, Greg demonstrated how a hacker could spy on this iPhone owner's every online move. Here it goes. Copy. Okay. Yeah. When he visits Fandango to buy movie tickets, the site pops up on Greg's screen. A hacker could use the trick to steal his credit card information. Whatever you're saying or doing may not really be as private as you think. Another hacker's trick is called caller ID spoofing. This is my boss's phone number calling me right now. But the call isn't from my boss. Instead, it's from Greg, who's showing me how easily a hacker could impersonate someone else on my caller ID. And that could be used, for example, for me to make a call to you and call you from your bank and ask for information, ask for personal information, a PIN number, other types of data. Another frightening security flaw? Hi, Ned, it's Rebecca Jarvis. Hackers can well, break uh, into voicemails left on some so AT&T phones, especially if they're not protected by a password. Hi, Ned, it's Rebecca Jarvis. Hope you're doing well. Um, I just thought I'd talk to you about Unbelievable. This young woman was shocked when we showed her how easily we could break into her voicemail. Yeah, wow. The bottom line, you can't afford to take cell phone security for granted. Cell phones are really like many computers today. And it's the same type of precautions you'd want to take when you use a computer or a laptop or the same type of precautions you'd want to use when you're using a cell phone or smartphone.